Greetings to you this day from the Prayer Chapel at St. Matthew's Church in Glendale, California. We're happy to have you with us today for our daily devotion. Our daily devotion today comes from the writings of Pastor Robert Murray McChaney, who served in Edinburgh during the mid-19th century. This is one of his letters which talks about comfort for the afflicted. To all of you, my dear friends and people, who are and shall ever be followers of the Lamb, whithersoever thou goest, your pastor again wishes you grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. In Job 23, you will find these solemn words, Behold, I go forward, but he is not there, and backward, but I cannot perceive him. But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. You have here a child of light walking in darkness, an afflicted soul seeking and seeking in vain to know why God is contending with him. Dear friends, this is not an uncommon case. Even to some of you, God's providences often appear inexplicable. Perhaps more than one trouble has come upon you at a time, wave upon wave, thorn upon thorn. Before one wound healed, another came. Before the rain was well away, clouds returned. You cannot explain God's dealings with you. You cannot get God to explain them. God does many things to teach us that God is God and to make us wait upon God. God knoweth the way that I take. What sweet comfort there is in these words, God that redeemed me, God that pities me as a parent, God who is the only wise God, God whose name is love, God knoweth the way that I take. God has called you to suffer, and you go, like Abraham, not knowing where you go. Still, be of good cheer. Suffer with Jesus. God marks your every step. God that loves you with an infinite, unchanging love is leading you by God's Spirit and providence. God knows every stone every thorn in your path. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. This is precious comfort. There will be an end to your affliction. But shall we come out the same way we went in? Ah, no. We shall come out like gold. Affliction can certainly purify a believer, Ah, how much dross there is in every one of us, dear believers, and in your pastor. Oh, that all the dross may be left behind in the furnace. What imperfection, what sin mingles with all that we have ever done. But we shall come out like gold. We shall shine more purely as a diadem in the hand of God. We shall become pure vessels to hold the sweet-smelling incense of praise and prayer. We shall become holy golden vessels for the Master's use in time and in eternity. My chief comfort concerning you is that my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.